This is Think Tech Hawaii. Community matters here. Aloha. I'm Marcia Joyner. And today is a really special day. Today is never again in Hawaii. And the students in Hawaii, like students around the world, are demonstrating that gun violence has to stop. So we have on the, with us from uh, UH Manoa, Beatrice. Beatrice, where are you, darling? Aloha. Aloha. I'm right here. Aloha. Yes, So tell us what's going on. So uh, from 10 o'clock to 10, uh, 17, uh, all over the country today, any time zone, uh, thousands of students gathered uh, to say never again and uh, to demand uh, that gun legislation for gun violence control happens, and it happens now. Students are the movement, they are the revolution, and obviously here in Hawaii, we do not uh, have any problems, you know, sending the message. Well, on the way here today to the studio, I passed Marinol School. They were out, which is a Catholic school, and several public schools. The children were lined up at the fences with, with placards and the People were tooting their horns, and we passed several schools, and high school, elementary school, Catholic schools, and all of the students were out. It, I just cried. Um, I was 15 the first time I walked a picket line in the Civil Rights Movement, and honestly, I was so excited and so thrilled with these kids in Hawaii where we don't right, have, and this is the yes. we don't this have is the, the gun violence. violence. And it was just exciting to see kids. And then all over the world, people turned out for today. So so tell me, where right. are you now? What school, where are you? I'm actually, uh, I'm right here at the UH Manoa. And I have uh, the student organizers from UH and from high school present with me. And also a very young uh, uh, lady who I don't know which school she belongs to, in Liho Liho School, and uh, she came to uh, join us today. So to say that advocacy and civic engagement starts very young. Well, good. Let's let's start with the little one then. Can we talk to her? All right. So, yes. Uh, so let me. Uh, um, so uh, we have uh, um, an opportunity for how to speak. Oh, uh, so I'm going to put the headphones to you, my right, darling, so you can hear. And uh, here. Can you hear? Martha, can you speak? I can hear. What's your name? What's your name, can sweetheart? You, can you tell your name to Martha? My name is Ronya. Ronya? Uh-huh. And what grade are you in? What grade are you in, sweetheart? First grade. First grade? Oh. Yeah. What school do you go to, darling? Mary Hill. Wonderful. And you're in the march today? Yeah. Oh, how great. How great that is. How do you feel about being there? Um... Happy. Happy. Do you have a sign? Are you? Yes. Yeah. What does your sign say, sweetheart? I have five. What does it say? I have five signs. Oh, you five signs? How mm -hmm. many? How many people came with you from your? Huh? How many people came with you from your school? Nine. Nine? Great. No, nine. Wonderful. Nine. None? Yeah. Yeah. And what does her sign say, Beatrice? Can you read? What, that? what can you read your sign to me? Yes. Yeah. Please. My favorite one is this one. 
I want to be safe in school. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. That is so good. That is so good. I'm so proud of you. And who came with you? My mom. Your mom. Tell her how proud we are of you. And thank your mom for bringing you. Okay. Okay. Beatrice? Beatrice? Huh? Can I talk to Beatrice? You're right here. Hi. Hi. Isn't that sweet? Oh, that's Isn't precious. Who else do you have? Oh, yes. Who would like to go first? Taylor. You're the one. <laughs> so I'm going to give it to Taylor here. Um, we guys will be together. Can you hear her? Hello. And what is your name? My name is Taylor McKenzie. I'm a senior at Sacred Hearts Academy. Oh, how wonderful. How many people came from Sacred Hearts Academy? Oh, a good six-ish people. Good six to ten-ish people from Sacred Hearts? Well, when we passed yeah. Sacred Hearts this morning, I saw people out with their signs. So oh, really? By tell, Sacred Hearts? Yeah. So tell me, what does your sign say? Oh, uh, one of the signs that I made said, if Congress won't act, students will. Oh, bless you, bless you. I was just telling our audience I was 15 when I first walked a picket line. And that was the civil rights movement. Oh, wow. Yes, a long time ago. <laughs> no, but that would be so, that's incredible that you were a part of that. Oh, yes. I, I wouldn't be anywhere else, but with you, I, I know the feeling and the excitement of being there. And you are the change. You have, like Gandhi said, be the change you want to see. And that's who you are. Oh, I'm so proud of you. How Thank old you so are you, much. sweetheart? How old are you? I'm 17. <laughs> oh, great. Great. Oh, and are you a senior? I am. Uh, and what are your plans after you leave? Uh, I'm thinking of going to Seattle University and continuing. Oh, you're going to leave us? We need people yeah. like you. Well, don't leave us. <laughs> <laughs> Just for a little while. Just for a little while. Yes. Yes. I am so proud of you. And how many people did you say came with you? Uh, six to ten. About. Six. It was so crazy when everyone is here. Hard to get a good number. Oh, I am so proud of you. So thank you thank so you. much for coming. And let me talk to Beatrice. All right, thank you. So, um, I'm still here. And I have uh, uh, three older students who would like the opportunity to speak with you. Oh, and great. Uh, the phone to June, June Shim, and he was really hi. Had all of this ignited, uh, you know, here on campus, and uh, connected with all of the students. Uh, so you remember him? Yes, hi. I remember June. I'm so proud of you. You did such a good job. Thank you so much. Yes, yeah, it was all really thanks for giving me help. How many students did you have? Uh, we had droves of students, yeah, like, so I couldn't exactly count, but there were, like, plenty of people who showed up. So, so June, um, tell us about June. Tell us who you are. Since you were the one I got the email from, you're the one that invited us to come. So tell us about June. Uh, what would you like to know? <laughs> <laughs> well, this was your idea. So tell us how you got started. Where where did this idea come from? Um, I guess like seeing the recent school shootings that happened, like I was sick and tired of this being like a normal part of everyday American culture and society. And uh, when my co-organizer Sarah she posted on Facebook that she was looking for students to help. Like, it really got me thinking because I saw the Parks and Kids and they went from survivors to activists. It was like, they're really close to eight and age with me, so I really felt inspired that I had to do something. And how old are you, June? 
I am 18 years old, ma'am. And so, are you a freshman at UH? Uh, yes. Uh, I just started my first semester. Now, so you, where do you live? Here on, uh, in, on Oahu? What area are you from? Uh, I, I live uh, in Ala Moana. And so this whole idea, what did your family think of? What did your family um, think? My, my sister actually helped to design my sign. Yeah, she's 13 years old. She helped to design my sign, actually. And so you... Uh, my, family, my family has been, like, pretty, yeah, pretty supportive of, like, me standing up and speaking out. So it's a family tradition? Uh, not really, yeah. I'm the, <laughs> the first activist in our family. <laughs> Are they proud of you? I hope so, <laughs> yes. After today, they'll be very proud of you. I am proud of you. Thank you. And, Thank you, so much. you know, that so many so people turned out with your invitation. This is just wonderful. <laughs> so where, what do you do? Yeah. Where do you go from here? What are you um, going to do next? Yeah, we, so we're going to be, we're going to keep the momentum going and we're going to keep our social media game up. But yeah, our next event will be the March 24th March for Our Lives. So tell me, where will that be and what time and what, what's going to happen? So we're going to be starting, we're going to be at the Hawaii State Capitol from 10 to 12 p.m. And 12. we're going to start off in the Capitol. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, 12 p.m. 12, yes, 12 noon. From, 12 noon, you mean? Uh, yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah. And yeah, so we're going to be, um, we're going to be going around the areas, including the federal building, the Department of Education main building, and the Capitol itself, because we really want to bring attention to our policymakers that, you know, the community has had enough spots gun violence that we're tired of seeing this happen. Well, now, that coincides with the march in Washington, does it? Uh, yeah, yeah. We're, it's going to be going around the country, just like today's event was. So it's like, yeah, the whole country is coming together. Do you have anybody that's going to go to Washington, do you know? Um, I don't think so but yeah i mean that would be really that would actually be pretty nice to see some solidarity through that well it's quite an expense to go from here to washington and airfare and hotels and oh, meals it's quite quite a, a chore but i just wondered if yeah. anybody if you had heard if anybody was going oh no yeah i haven't i haven't heard from anybody well so now, how do ordinary people, the rest of us, uh, get involved with the march on the 20, you said March the 24th, right? Uh, yeah. So if the rest of us want to get involved, do we go to the Capitol? How, how does that work? Tell me what are the steps from, do we have to contact you? Do we just show up? What, what do you want us to do? Um, if you have any questions, yeah, I would uh, recommend contacting either me or Sarah. So, and, June, you know, June, tell yeah. us how to contact you. Okay, uh, yeah, you can contact me. My phone number is 808-255-6663. Okay, and what about uh, your, on Facebook or, or any social media? Uh, okay. Um, we would have to, um, our social media is March for Our Lives Hawaii, so H-I. Mm -hmm. March for Our Lives H-I. Okay. And June, June, what's your full name, sweetheart? Really? I'm sorry? Your full name. June Shin. June Shin, yes. S-H-I-N. <laughs> S H I N J U N S H I N. Yes. Yes. Okay. So we have a couple of more students. Okay. Uh, uh, should I pass it along? Thank you, June. Thank you so much. Let's see here. Uh, let me. Hi, would you like to have a, a word with our master from the 
you like Hawaii? Yeah, of course. Yeah. So we have another student. Hello. Hi. Hi, and what's your name? Wonderful. Congratulations. I'm so glad you, you came. So, did you have a sign also? Yes, I did. What does your sign say? My sign says, lies over guns, enough is enough. Great. So, how many people came from Sacred Hearts? From Sacred Hearts, around six to ten people came. My English teacher came, which was amazing. Oh, great. Well, oh, good. We have a picture of some students. So, yeah. Oh, that's good, good. If Congress won't act, students will. Very good. Yes. Very good. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Now, what do your parents think of you and taking a stand for being an activist? What do your parents think? I think we're on the same page with the movement. My dad is definitely supportive of gun control and just me doing all of this. And um, it's a great thing here in Stephanie Me to be supportive of their children taking a stance and taking their future into their own hands is actually where it starts. Oh, listen, I, like I've told everybody, I was 15 when I worked, first walked a picket line in the Civil Rights Movement, which was 1954. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's a long time ago. Wow, that's awesome. But I'm still out there. So I am with you 100%. Totally, we have devoted this whole time frame just to talk to you. Hawaii says never Thank again. You. So we are so yeah. proud of you. And uh, Beatrice will tell you the link to the show as after we get off the air so that you can tell your yeah, parents. Okay? okay? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, we have one more student. That was in Sarah Casino. Sarah! <laughs> your third. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi, how are you? Good. And Hello. your name? Your name? Sarah Catino. Sarah. Yes, ma'am. Good. So tell us about Sarah. So tell you about Sarah. So yes. Sarah is a, yeah, I'm a senior here at UH, um, and June and I pretty much, uh, with the help of a lot of other people, obviously, but we kind of threw this whole thing together in the last few weeks. Um, we just kind of stepped up and said, hey, this is what the, the Parkland students are asking for, and we are in agreement with them, and what can we do to have their voices be heard all the way in the middle of the Pacific? So we started organizing, and I, I'm pretty happy with how many people showed up in a couple of weeks' notice. I think that it went really well. I am so proud of you and all the work you're doing and all of the students. Thank you. As I said earlier, as driving in, we passed Catholic schools, private schools, public schools with students out with their signs. And it is just so thrilling to see Hawaii participate with the schools around the world. It is just wonderful. I am so proud of you. Oh, and, thank you. And yeah, this this morning I put on the news and I just saw thousands of students from around the country and it reminded me of, you know, the first, the Women's March right after right. Um, an alteration two years ago and I just thought, wow, you know, the, the women did it and the kids are doing it and I think that the women and the kids have been changing this country and the world for a long time and it's kind of just cool to be on, well, you know, the right side of history. It is because it was students that started the Bolshevik Revolution, it was students mm -hmm. in the Civil Rights Movement, and so you are absolutely on the right side of history. Yeah. And yes, and again, I am very proud of you. And they tell me I have to take a break, so can I go back to Beatrice, okay. please? You sure can. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you. Okay. Yes, ma'am? Hi. We need to take Hi. a we need to take a break. Don't go away. Okay. Okay. I don't have more students to talk. Huh? <laughs> just play the video. Oh, oh, oh. Well, we, they're showing me that we have to take a break, and then we'll be back in just a yeah. minute. Right. But don't go away. This is Think Tech Hawaii, raising public awareness. I just walked by, and I said, what's happening, guys? They told me they were making music. I 
that I could play, so any chance to play at all. You know, that's my life. I love music. Aloha, welcome to Hawaii. This is Prince Dykes, your host of the Prince of Investing, coming to you guys each and every Tuesday at 11 a.m. right here on Think Tech Hawaii. Don't forget to come by and check out some of the great information on stocks, investing, your money, all the other great stuff, and I'll be your host. See you Tuesday. Now, Beatrice is at the University of Hawaii. Beatrice is one of our hosts, as you know. And she is sending us pictures of students, and we have a video, don't we? Do we have a video that she's sending? Okay. <laughs> Is that the main street that goes I, through? I think it's, 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 the, it's the main street uh, of University of the University. Of the oh, university. Yeah. 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 And so the students across the street just came out for 17 minutes and they put so much love and intention into their action of solidarity and, you know, through the posters, through, through the knowledge of what's happening and uh, it was very moving to see elementary school students, high school students and college students do the same uh, perimeter, you know, asking for the same thing, which is gun control and the uh, ability to be safe and to learn in a place that is conducive to education and safety. Well, when we passed Marino School, the, the kids with signs were standing out by the fence, and there were some little ones that could hardly see over the fence, but they were out. And I have to say, I guess give kudos to our superintendent of school who said that this was going to be fine, this was their First Amendment right, and for the students it was okay to take the 17 minutes. I really have to thank her for for making it clear Absolutely. that that this was Absolutely. the thing to do. Yeah. yeah. And uh, also, I think it's very special that uh, this is a movement that comes from the heart, and it comes from the reality of students. I have been very moved to see, uh, you know, like little ones showing up as young as five years old with their parents to post, you know, and. Uh, this is of all ages saying in office and over and in Hawaii where we have one of the best gun control laws in the nation, you know, like we, we may feel that this does not apply to us, but I think that, you know, it's really nice to see students from not just Oahu Island, but other islands coming together in solidarity and saying we cannot be complacent and if, if anything, I think the students here in Hawaii have a lot to say to all the students and uh, to all the states, you know, that this is the way it should be, that we should not have, uh, you know, lack of gun control. We are really one of the top uh, one states, you know, in the nation for what we want this uh, country to achieve. Well, you know, I am so proud of all of the students that showed up. Now tell us, before we, we lose you, uh, what are the plans again? Repeat the plans for the 24th. What are we to do on the 24th? So, the plan for the 24th, uh, the students uh, all over the, the country and also here in Hawaii uh, are going to have um, a march for our lives. Uh, so there are two marches going on actually. One uh, from 9 o'clock to 11 at Alamoana, the Magic Island. And then there's another, and that's the March for Our Lives Honolulu, uh, also organized by students, high school students, uh, primarily. And then uh, the March for Our Lives Hawaii around the capital is going to be uh, from 10 to 12. 
And uh, I also understood that there are uh, many marches happening throughout the island on the 24th. On the other neighbor, so on the neighbor I, island, you mean? Yes, yes. on the neighborhood. No, no, actually here in Hawaii. Oh, here. On Oahu. So in Kailua, there's a mini march happening. Uh, and we can put it on the website later so people can find out. And I think, you know, it's up to each community and schools to really say, we want to do this and to personalize it. And the, the message to send across is, is the one of unity, no matter where you are, no matter, you know, which march you join, that you do something on the 24th for sure. And uh, uh, the group that uh, organized uh, the, the Never Again Hawaii movement here at UI Manoa today is also uh, the lead organizers for the April 20th March uh, in memory of the 20th anniversary of Columbine uh, shooting. Oh, well, now what so day is that? Stay tuned for that. That's April 20th. April 20th, okay. Yes. And uh, uh, so I think this is really a movement that will continue to uh, keep in its momentum. It's absolutely student-driven and led and organized. And, uh, you know, it's really amazing. And it's really amazing that the community can also be supported by showing up and by asking the students what is it that they can do to support their, you know, revolution this right that is really happening across the nation and off is enough. Well, and they, I have no doubt that they will be able to overturn, uh, you know, current legislation that we have on gun control. And I also have no doubt, uh, no doubt that their power of voting also, not just advocacy, is going to make a huge difference. It's going to, yes, absolutely. And, so, and one of the things we'll have to do, as you know, I'm a political junkie. So on the 24th, we have to show up with applications for them to register to vote. I'll be there. <laughs> so, and, uh, absolutely. Yes. So listen, sweetheart, they're telling me that we have to go. But love you madly. Thank you for being there. And Jay, absolutely. we love you for allowing us to do this live. Thank you so much, absolutely. sweetheart. Thank you. Thank you. Give, so give the students. And get, yeah, and give the students the link so they can show their parents that they were there. Aloha. We'll do it. Aloha. Aloha.